before you can use the power of the cloud to serve your content, you have to get your data into it. In this episode of Google Cloud Storage Bytes, we talk about all the different ways you can upload data. So buckle up, because we're heading to the cloud. We all know that Google Cloud Storage can serve your binary assets to users worldwide at high speeds and low prices. But before you can do any of that, you've got to get your data into Google Cloud Storage, which can be done in a few specific ways. First is the easiest option, using the Google Cloud Console. This provides you with an in-browser experience where you can easily click to create buckets and folders and then choose or drag and drop the files from your local machine to upload. Second is the command line tool. While the console is fine for easy uploads and simplistic serving situations, for production environments, you often need an automated command line solution. For this, we provide the GSUtil tool. GSUtil is a Python application that lets you access cloud storage from the command line. It provides you with the ability to do all sorts of things like creating buckets, moving objects, or even editing metadata. To use it, simply run the GSUtil program with a myriad of command line options. For example, this command uploads a directory of files from your local machine to your GCS bucket using parallel upload. And this command lists out specific objects that have a version-specific URL using a wildcard. You can see other cool stuff this tool can do in the documentation linked below. Up next is our client libraries. At some point, you might need to interface with GCS directly from your code rather than going out to a command line option. You can include the client libraries into your code and call a simple API to get data into a bucket or a folder. And regardless of your language, we've probably got you covered. And finally, if none of that suits your fancy, there's always the good old JSON and XML APIs, which you can let kick off an HTTP POST request to upload data directly to a bucket or folder. It's a bit more complex, but it's there in case it fits your use case. Now, for you folks with lots and lots of data, it's worth noting that it might not be feasible to upload all of that data directly from your on-prem systems directly to the Google Cloud. For that, you can use the GCS transfer appliance. We ship you a fancy device directly to your location, and you can connect it and transfer at super high speeds, then send it back to us. Plus, you get this cool-looking box on your desk for a while. And don't worry if your data is in another cloud. We've got easy to use guides to help you get up and running with a supporting multi-cloud environment and get that data over to GCS. Of course, now that the data is in GCS, you've got to figure out the best ways to serve it to your users worldwide. But that's a totally different episode. Subscribe, give us a like, and let us know the features of cloud storage that you want to learn more about. Thanks for joining us for this quick bite of Google Cloud Storage.